I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. These exercises are kind of my what would you do scenarios. When you first get your drawn hand, you've got to figure out where you're going to get your scoring. It's called a Yaku. You have to qualify to win. There's a quick reference link below the video if you want to download this. And on the inside is the Yaku table. You have to have at least one of those scoring elements in order to win. So I like to practice with a drawn hand and just try to figure out what Yaku I could play and get a vision for the hand and work with the tiles and just kind of test myself. It's really helped my confidence. Give it a try yourself if you have a set at home and let me know if it helps you. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are here, and they have been mixed up. I have some counters. We're going to try to do six in 15 minutes. I have a Hanchen indicator, and we'll just alternate between east and south. We'll just say we're the dealer for these, so I'll get 14 tiles each time. I'm just going to pick a random tile for Dora. So in this case, it's the East Round and 4 Bam is Dora. Okay. So for this first one, I think we have potential chi, chi, potential chi, potential chi, potential chi. So let's see here. I think I would try pin foo and then if I drew in simples, I might even try to get rid of the nines. I would probably throw this, no, I'd throw these first and then the one ma'am. Because if you can have all two through eight, those are called simples. That's a Yaku called Tanyao and that is worth a Han. So if we played Pinfu, Tanyao and Reach because it would be a concealed hand, that would be three Han. I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something differently, let me know. I would be tempted to play a half flush. That's my favorite Yaku. All those dots, we would have four discards versus only three if we played Pinfu. So we would have to throw away the one bam and then these two. So we have one better tile than half flush. Okay, if you would do something different, please write it in the comment section. As I am learning, I'm learning too. So if you already know how to play, correct me. But I think I would play Pinfu here, maybe even Tanyao. Okay, we'll go on to the next one. Nine dot is Dora. One honor right there, north. So I think I would definitely start by discarding the north. We have a potential chi, potential chi here, here as well. Six, seven, eight, five, six, seven. Here's a chi right there. There's a pair or a potential chi with Dora. So yes, I would definitely play Pinfu here. Pinfu and Reach. So that would be two Yaku, two Han, and Dora. Three, so that would be three Han. Okay. 
I think that's what I would do with this one. If you would do something differently, let me know. Just put, write random pull two in the comment section. And we'll go back to East Round, random pull three. Five dot is Dora. And we're on East Round. We are east and it is east round. We have a valueless pair here. We have a pawn of ones and a pair of fours. Here's Akadora. We could potentially play, let's see, we could potentially play Pinfu. There's potential cheese in here. We would have to break this up though. Maybe use that as a pair and discard these three for Pinfu. We have one, two, three, four blocks in our pair. This is a side weight. We need a three crack or a six crack, so that's good and strong. This is a middle weight or closed weight so that would be weak. This would be weak, it, but we're waiting on Dora. So that could give us extra score. Uh, oh, you know what? That's a two dot. We need, we need a three, four. Yeah, that's not good. Um, and then, of course, we have a six, seven here. But I think, nonetheless, even with that little boo-boo there, I would still probably try for Pinfu. You know what I might even do is throw the two first and see if we pair up. Because if we get another pair, I might try for all pwn. What would you do with this? If you play this, what would you do with these tiles for a Yaku? I'm thinking Pinfu. We'd have to throw this and this. Or... Let's see here. Yeah, I would not want to throw away Akadora. I would want to use it. Chi, valueless pair. We'd have to throw away a pwn. Hmm. This is where I get hung up with what to do. Do I go for half flesh? Do I go for all pwn, even though we only have, we have two pair and a pwn. Maybe all pwn is the way to go and just hold on to Akadora, try to pair up with Akadora. Hmm, I'm not sure on this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is why I like to practice. South round. One, uh, three dot is Dora. Okay, for this one, three dot is Dora. So for this one, we have one, two, three, four pair. This though, even though it's three pair, it's also two cheese. That is called a pure double chi, which is a yaku. Let's see what the other chi potential is here. We have a potential chi here. This is even a side weight. Here's a pair. So we would have, these are isolated. Regardless, I think I might discard the white dragon first and see what comes in because we're kind of in between Pinfu, which is all cheese and all pwn. If we get one more pair in here, we could pwn. 
We have one, two, three, four pair. We could potentially do toy toy, which is all three of a kind. I think that's maybe what I would do. All pwn, I believe, is two han. Yes, it is. All pwn is two han. I think that's probably what I would do. Would you do either pin fu and pure double chi, which is two han, or all pwn? I think it's maybe six one half dozen the other. Right, random pull four and which you would do. Or if there's something else you would do instead. Let's see, we have, yeah, three, four, five. There is a four, five. If we had four, five in dots, we could even do mixed triple chi, which is the same chi in three suits, but we're missing a suit. So that would be a major long shot. Okay, we're on number five and we're back to East Round. Three Bam is Dora. No, Dora. We do have four BAMs though. We could anticipate Dora. We have three honors. One, two, three pair. All right, so. Hmm. Let's see, chi potential here, pair, chi potential here, here. Mixed potential, mixed potential here. I think, I, I think we're closer to all pwn than we are to pinfu, which again is all three in a sequence. So we have one, really two potential cheese as opposed to three potential pones. And these dragons, if we pair them up, those could be a yaku all by themselves if we pwn them. Three of a kind of any dragon is a yaku and a han. I think I would try for toy toy here. Let me know if you would do something different. Just write random pull five and what you would do with these tiles. Now we are on south round and this is the last random pull. Seven dot is Dora. No Dora. We do have dots though. Okay, so for these, we have lots of terminals. One, two, three, four. There's honors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven towards all honors and terminals. That I believe is called John Chan. Let me see. Let's see if I can pronounce it right. All honors and terminals. Oh, that's honor row two. Is that how you pronounce it? Honor row two. On 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 row two. On row two. Something like that. I, I, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but if you have all ones and nines and honors, that's what that, that would be. And that is two Han. So let's see what the chi potential is. If we're east seat and it is south round, this would be, this would be, have no value. So here we have a chi, a potential chi or a potential chi here. 
and then that's isolated isolated we got to have a pair so that let's say that's isolated so we would have one two potential cheese in a pair hmm let's see one two three four five six seven eight hmm yeah this is where I struggle so if we were to play a half flesh we have mostly cracks we'd have to sacrifice a pair and discard five, uh, six tiles including the Dora suit I think what I would do is get rid of the honors and play Pinfu and then just do the best I can to fill in the gaps and play all three in a sequence because then you can do reach Richie and Pinfu anytime you have number tiles of course you can do cheese and there's great flexibility with number tiles because there are three suits numbered one through nine so that's I think what I would do here Richie and Pinfu I am on a journey to master Richie I know I have a long way to go this is a very complex game which is one reason why I like it so much if you haven't learned how to play yet, there's a link below the video to some tutorials. Check that out if you have time. One of those tutorials is really long, but it's a great way to learn. It's jam-packed full of all kinds of things about Ricci, from fundamentals to strategy. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.